Good afternoon. I am Kevin Smith, Superintendent. It is my privilege to welcome you to the 121st Commencement Ceremony for Brooksville High School as we celebrate and honor our 2022 graduates. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge all of our alumni. If you graduated from Brooksville High School, please stand to be recognized. Thank you. I would, like, I would like to recognize our school board members and special guests in attendance today. First, our Board of Education, President Alice Browning, Vice President Tim Frash, fellow members Sam Zinn, Justin Frame, and Rhonda Moyer, Brooksville School's Treasurer Rob Hogg, and Representative from Mid-East Career Center Connie Schreiber. I would also like to thank our district administrators and many of our teachers who are in attendance today to honor our graduates on this special day. At this time, I'd like to welcome Pastor Con Wolf and invite him to the podium for today's invocation. Board of Directors for the Community Bank. 
After graduation, Lucas will be attending The Ohio State University, majoring in music education as an arts scholar student. After earning a Bachelor's of Music Education, Lucas will be pursuing a job as a band or choir director at the high school level. Please join me in welcoming to the podium, Class President Lucas Snow. If we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real, 
and always try to understand the way other people feel. And be less with the anger and show appreciation for us. And love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering this special match might only last a while. So when your eulogy is being read, when your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you spit your hatch? Though we are wrapping up this chapter of our lives here at Georgesville and moving on to bigger and better things, we all need to remember it does not matter what car you drive or what neighborhood you live in. What matters is how you are remembered. We all need to live every day with the mindset of, is this how I want to be remembered? Sadly, after we walk away from this ceremony today, some of us will never see each other again. But we will always have the memories of our time together here at Crooksville. If there's any advice that I can give to the future generations of ceramics, it would be, always act how you want your legacy to be remembered because there's always someone looking up to you. Be the driving force that makes younger students strive for excellence. Be the person the elementary students look up to. But most important of all, be the type of person for which you want to be remembered. Thank you for your time today, and now we will be honoring our mothers with the presentation of the class flower, the red chrysanthemum, during the playing of our class song, Good Old Days by Mac
Congratulations, graduates. You made it. We made it. As I'm sure we've all discovered by now, life is a long and difficult journey, and we can only scratch the surface. Hardship and tribulation is promised. But as Danish philosopher and theologian Simon Hackerberg once said, life can only be understood backwards, but it must be lived forwards. As we move forward in our lives, whether you go to college, grade school, or straight into the workforce, know that you have a purpose. You may not know what that purpose is, but you may not always understand it. That means that but one thing we can be sure of is that every one of us will make contributions to society. And they won't be in the Now, you're faced with a question. What will your contribution be? Will you work with your hands and do what you love? Will you instead go to perform with the best marching band in the world? Maybe we'll go compete with collegiate athletics and compete with other athletes who spent most of their lives owning their skills. Maybe your path looks a lot like one of these. Maybe it doesn't. Whatever your contribution will be, be proud of it. Be proud of yourselves because from this moment on, you can relish in the title. Graduate. It is my great honor to introduce our next speaker, a four-year varsity athlete, the MBL Leadership Ambassador for our school and a member of the National Honor Society. In the fall, she plans to attend the University of Finland, majoring in biology and continuing her sophomore career. It is my pleasure to introduce your CHS Class of 2022 valedictorian, Jeans with 
95% of the Pentagon. Personally, I like this trend, because every time I see my grandpa, he offers to buy me a new pair of jeans. <laughs> the administration, on the other hand, were not too fond of this trend. I couldn't begin to tell you how many times I've heard Mr. Sam go for the intercom preaching to us students about our genes, or fellow classmates complaining because they had just been as we made our way through all of these unique trends, we are still asking ourselves the million dollar question. Who are we? We have spent the last 13 years, 156 months, 678 weeks, 4,746 days, 113,904 hours, 6,834,240 minutes, and 410 million. Well, we can't do it, but some in the room need to turn the safe search on because there's no telling what the results might be for some of us. All searches aside, I'd like to conclude with one of my favorite Bible verses in the favorite book of mine, both of which are easily searchable. I'll start with the Bible verse. Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or tremble at them. For the Lord your God is the one who goes with you, he will not kill you. And finally, one of my favorite quotes from Ellen DeGeneres. Follow your passion, stay true to yourself, never follow someone else's path. Unless, of course, you're in the woods and you're lost and you see a path. And then by all means, you should probably follow it. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2022.
by my English teacher, Mr. Smith. Oscar Wilde stated, Delivery is the rarest thing in the world. Most people exist. That is all. Today, I want you to think about what Oscar Wilde's trying to convey in this quote. How do you want to live your life? Do you want it to simply exist, or do you want to live? And now, I would like to present the poem. Lucas Paul Snogger. <laughs> Trevor Bowman.
Ethan Sprinkle.
of these and mine to greater and more beautiful things within their world. We give you thanks for allowing us to be here. In your name, Jesus our Savior. Amen.